Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. Two running backs will take the field today in hopes of leading their team to victory. It's Samaj Piran's Redskins going up against Morris's Cowboys. With that, let's welcome in our fine broadcast team. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Larry, we find ourselves right in the center of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex in Arlington at AT&T Stadium. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Washington Redskins. Hi again, everybody. I'm Brandon Gordon. To my left, as always, he's Charles Davis. And, Charles, we saw in the open, we've got a couple of great running backs in this game tonight, each capable of putting a team on his back. And I'm excited to talk about the runners, not just the passers, who have a big hand and who's going to win this game. Both of these guys are do-it-all, can run it, can catch it. I can't wait to get this one started. Dan Bailey's got it teed up, and here we go now from Arlington at AT&T Stadium. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Time to see what Washington's offense can do here with Kirk Cousins at the quarterback position. You know, they were really good offensively last week against New Orleans. You looked at the number for Kirk and company, you would have thought they won that game, but they lost by three. 456 total yards. They put a number on New Orleans that we'd been accustomed to seeing happened against the Saints in recent years up until, you know, after what, game two of this season. Mm -hmm. So they were clicking, had a big lead, couldn't hold it, and the Saints reeled them in and beat them in overtime. But Kirk Cousins, I think, is still having an excellent season as the quarterback of Washington. Cousins now to throw on first down. Completes it to Davis. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And <laughs> what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. This is the rookie from Oklahoma, Samaj P. Ryan. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. Again, here's Pirine. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. It was just third down and short, but he bit off a little extra. <laughs> I would say way more than he could chew, but he chewed up all that yardage in a big way. And that, to me, that was a combination of offensive line, stacked defense, and they handled it. Okay, they got the leverage, they got the blocking angles, and opened up a nice crease. And once you get past that first wave, there's room to roam. Yeah, that's just the third play from scrimmage. They wanted to avoid that three and out. They did. So it'll be first down here after the run. Cousins a handoff. This is P. Ryan. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. That's his longest run of the first quarter. And, Charles, we talked before the game about them needing to establish the run game. They'll be looking for more of that. And they got to the perimeter. So that tells me that that's part of the game plan of what they want to get done today. So they'll have some complimentary runs where he'll run it to the inside. But it appears that when they want the big yardage, they think they can get to the outside and make it happen. This is Marshall. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. 
It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And now the defense for Dallas. Let's break out the spotlight and put it on Orlando Scandrick. He's been a safety. He's been a corner. People have called him too small to play in the NFL. He uses that as absolute fuel to stay on the field and beat out highly touted competitors. Try to throw now. Cousins. And unable to connect on the long pass. It falls down incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there. And it's third down. But it certainly didn't waste any time throwing some deep passes here. But the defense, it wasn't unexpected. They told their secondary, be ready. You're going to be tested all night by this team. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Play action for P. Ryan. Now Cousins. And he's going to go out of bounds. He takes this one down shy of the 20. That one goes for 24 yards. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. Now the offense lining up first and ten. They go play action here on first down. His throw caught at about the five. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Jeremy Sprinkle, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Redskins take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Could not have scripted it any better. And many offenses do script their opening possession on offense. They followed that one perfectly. Took the ball right downfield and scored, giving energy not just to the offensive unit, but to their team overall. Now the extra point try forthcoming. It's good, and the Redskins take a 7-0 lead. So that drive goes eight plays, and it was polished off by a Redskin touchdown. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Dallas Cowboys hoping to forget everything about last week in the 37-9 loss to Philadelphia as Dak Prescott will lead the offense here. He was 18 to 31 in that game through three picks. It just wasn't pretty. The worst home loss in the past eight years in Dallas's home stadium, AT&T Stadium. The tough part for him is I don't know if he has enough confidence in the pocket because Tyron Smith, his normal left tackle, hasn't played in recent weeks, and it has been a sack fest coming at him. Atlanta, right? Adrian Claiborne got him six times against Chaz Green. They start Byron Bell this week, but still a lot of pressure in the lap of Dak Prescott. Room here to run. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. It's a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Second down and four. Out of 
the gun. Here's Prescott going right side. He has Winton. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. And this O-line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Prescott from the gun. He dumps off to Morris. And a broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. Prescott on first down. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. And the big meet on the D-line. We'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. throw again. Prescott. And this would complete to Winton over the middle. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. A nice pick up there at 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. I like the look that they just showed there. When you come out of a passing formation, spread things out a little bit, makes it really hard to cover the middle of the field, doesn't it? Because yeah. you got to go out to the perimeter and cover those guys. Yep, exactly. Got some good blocking, too. Helped him pick up the first. And here comes play number six on this drive. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Morris. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Encroachment defense. Yeah, he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped, but... I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. Six yards here to go for the offense on second down. Scott off the play fake to McFadden. And he 
He's going to go down here a sack. They push him back to the 34. Preston Smith coming in hard on the blitz. He gets him down for a loss of four. And they brought the pressure there just right up the gut, didn't they? Yeah, they certainly did. And, you know, when you've got so many different responsibilities as an offensive line, you got to deal with the nose tackle, the two defensive tackles or ends, and then sometimes you just can't account for everyone. The linebacker slipped free. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Prescott to throw it. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Take this down for about four yards down to the 15. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And this seemingly endless drive continues. A second down throw for Prescott. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And that time he's smothered as he's wrestled down at the 9-yard line. A Dallas first down. Prescott hook it up with Beasley. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. <laughs> Prescott down. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. It's a gain of five, and that'll bring up a second and goal. Well, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Second and goal. Defense digging in again here. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. This offense so far on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They're looking at a third and goal here. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. The Cowboys on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and goal. Prescott. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. 
How about that? One of the so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. And the Cowboys will call on Dan Bailey here. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. And Bailey able to knock it through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So a 15-play drive. Can't believe that only resulted in three, but it did. That is somewhat amazing, isn't it? When you hold the ball that long, run offense that well, yet only put three points on the board, it has to be a little bit of a disappointment, doesn't it? Has to. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. The Redskins offense now. They head back onto the field. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac. But you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. The drive starts with a handoff to Piron. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They'll run again with P. Ryan. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. Snap, we hit all zeros as time has run out on the first quarter of play. 7-3 the score. We're back to Arlington in just a moment. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Back live, Charles Davis to my right. I'm Brandon Gauden. It's Redskin football to begin quarter number two. They'll need to convert a third and seven, though, to start things out. And they finally get to him as he's taken down. Jamarcus Lawrence able to track him down for a loss of 13. And it'll bring up fourth down. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every route that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football.
Now the fourth-year man from Oklahoma, Tress Way, on to punt. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. This is brought in at the 21. 62 yards on the punt that time. Wow. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And out now come the Cowboys. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. They'll start it on the ground with Morris. <laughs> Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. the 45 before he's brought down. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. That's what love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Darren McFadden. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Tanked up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Neutral zone infraction, defense. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. that time is that'll move the chains I love when a play results in a game that I can actually kind of fall back on one of my favorite adages and that is anytime there's a run over 10 yards it means that the offensive line did its job but you know who else did the wide receiver because the first seven yards kind of belong to the offensive line and the running back anything after that means the wide receivers did a great job of blocking downfield being willing to mix it up and give them some more space to gain additional yardage. First down, a run with McFadden. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Personal foul, face mask, defense. 
Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. following the penalty. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Darren McFadden, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys are in for six. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. The drive summary that time, five plays. And the capper that put it in the end zone, a run of eight yards. Kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Redskins offense now, they get set to take over here. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They start on the ground with P. Ryan. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. gives this to P. Ryan, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Carry for P. Ryan. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Well, so much for him being bottled up throughout the day. Finally finds a way to break through and get a really nice gain. The defense had felt great about what they had going. Now they've got to turn their attention to getting it back in that direction. Can they bottle him up again? Because I'd say after that run, Confidence is pretty high for him. Ahead, 
They'll run with Marshall. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. Well, that play was doomed right from the start. They just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. Second down throw for Cousins. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Paul. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Movement there on the offensive line, a little quick, and a five-yard penalty. Full start offense. So that'll back them up five. The Redskins on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. From the gun, here's Cousins. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. He gets seven out of it, and he also gets a first. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. They'll run it here with P. Ryan. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. Now we've got whistles here before the snap. Was this on the Redskins? I think so. offense. And that'll set them back five. way forward here for a modest gain. It'll be a five-yard pickup there, so from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The Redskins on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and eight. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And this is going to be incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This will be from 56 yards out. And this won't get there, won't be online either. It's no good, off to the right, and this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good, good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it, and this one winds up no good.
So the missed 56 yarder, and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. First down, Prescott. Caught left side, Williams. A good pick up there, 22. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. down throw for Prescott and incomplete a drop there in the middle third of the field that'll bring up second down after watching him drop that slant I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now you can't run with the ball until you catch it trying to get those rack yards before he secured it scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audibled there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled except for the one the offense really wanted to run through, and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. Now Prescott. He can't avoid the pressure Redskins get there Zach Brown coming in to drop him for a loss of eight and it'll be fourth down well that play was the very definition of fast quick and in a hurry suddenly he was there in a blink of an eye that happened fast and a big sack Now the seventh-year man, Chris Jones, on to kick. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Samaj P. Ryan and the offense heading back out there. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat, make sure he touches it a few times, but as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? Now we've got whistles here before the snap. Was this on the Redskins? I think so. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. here on first down try to lay one up deep and incomplete a drop there in the middle third of the field that'll bring up second down the one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half they've come after them they've sat back I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing and they certainly have kept them on their toes that's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard Second down here after the incomplete pass. Now P. Ryan. 
Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Nothing there, no gain, and now they're looking at a third and 15. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. And that is incomplete. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and then just continued there with that incompletion. Yeah, definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. Here's Tressway now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. This is taken at the 15. Officially, that'll be a 63-yard punt. Well done. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Here's Prescott. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll be second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. They run with Morris. He takes this for three to the 29. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This time they face a third and two. In just two minutes time, don't forget we'll get you to Orlando for our halftime report. To bring it to you, who else but Larry Ridley? Now that man knows his football. Go get him, Larry. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Here it's third and two. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And now we look at Josh Doxson. Hasn't had his best day to this point here in the second quarter. They're losing. You got to think, though, that also means that maybe the defense doing a good job on him. There's two sides to that coin. I would agree. So you have to give them credit. But that means you've got to find a way to beat that defense and make sure one of your top playmakers touches the football and has an impact on the game. Change formations, change where he lines up, put him in motion anything possible to shake him free. Maybe that greater impact comes here on this drive. First 
First down, here's Cousins. Throw right side, caught by Davis. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. Second down, Cousins. Fights off the defender. Caught right side, Davis. And down he'll go at the 25. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Cousins from the gun on third. Shedding the tackle. And this is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field, and they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked so well. Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Prescott looks to throw on first and nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. So that gives us a quick second here, Charles. Did you see last Thursday night the camera angle that they used for majority of the Steelers-Titans game? I did, and it had been advertised ahead of time to tune in and check it out. They're going to do the game from that perspective, you know, most of it. And it was a curiosity for a lot of people. I also heard a lot of people who liked it, able to see the way the plays developed, to give more of a, a view of maybe the line play, things of that nature. And others, they're still saying, ah, I still like the old school view, but I really think we're going to see more and more of that because you do see more of the field. Yeah, and everyone was calling it the Madden game because it kind of looked like you were playing a game of Madden. And rightly so, because that's exactly what it is, the Madden cam. So the offensive unit called the T.O., and now we are ready to resume play. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and nine. Here's Prescott. And a quick shuffle pass here is complete. And now we're gonna get a timeout called by the Redskin defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on here to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. Josh Doxson and company heading back on the field now. A chance maybe here for them to get him more involved. They're down here on the scoreboard, and he's been very quiet. 
And the silence has been deafening for his team. They don't need that at all. They need fireworks. They need explosive plays. They need him touching the football in any way possible. Maybe go to some jet sweeps. Anything to get him going. Yeah, something to get in the ball. We'll see if they can do it. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. A first down throw for Cousins. Brought in over the middle by Graham. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. Second down now after the pass completion. Here's Cousins. And that is incomplete. He was trying to get it there to Vernon Davis, the tight end. And it's third and short. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. The Redskins on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This time it's third and three. Throwing his cousins. And that is incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. But that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass. Incomplete. Here's Tressway now. He's been terrific so far. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. They begin the drive with Morris. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Normally, when you put together a 3-4 defense, you want massive people up front who can eat up blockers and allow the linebackers to run free. But how about the big fella right there breaking all codes and getting into the backfield and making the play? So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front. As we send you on over to Orlando, where we'll check in with Larry Ridley. He's got our EA Sports halftime report. Larry? All right, Brandon, we'll see if I can get through this without being skipped. As we welcome you to our EA Sports halftime report. The Cowboys are happy to be in front right now and just want to play two more solid quarters. The Redskins just want to come out after the half and claw their way back into the game. All right, let's do this. Here's the first half highlights. Redskins taking the field for their opening drive. Cousins got the completion here, sticking with the same drive. And he'll get to the 22-yard line before running out of bounds. Set up now, third and seven. Offensive line won't be able to hold up here. This ends up as a huge loss in yardage. ball early in the second. McFadden is going to take it off the left edge and he'd go in for the eight yard touchdown. That puts them up by a field goal. Thank you sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half.
So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Here's a handoff to begin the drive to Morris. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And the Redskins do get to him. He goes down for a sack. Zach Brown in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. The Cowboys on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and nine. Prescott from the gun. And he finds his man. That's Butler. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Now it's Morris. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. So the offense has it first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Second down to the offense in search of six yards. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. 
And he's got room. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Prescott on first down. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. That throw good for four. It's second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that'll lead here to a third down. The Cowboys on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and four. Now Prescott. Toward the pylon, caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And Bailey able to knock it through. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. And that field goal caps an 11-play drive. That's a lot of offense to run to only get three points, but they'll take them. Anytime you can put anything on the board, you run to your sideline somewhat happy. After the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So now we look at the Redskins offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. They go play action here on first down. Throw left side complete. It's Grant. A gain of 32 that time. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time, that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. time to the tailback. Got some real estate inside the 30. And down he goes. 
Rodgers taking it inside the 10 to the 7. A big play on the ground there. It goes for 36 yards. We can talk about bend but don't break all we want. But the defense now, we're going to find out just how flexible and pliable they really are. Can they bounce back after that type of a run, that type of momentum against them, and find a way to slow down this offense? Throwing Cousins. That's complete right around the eight. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Niles Paul, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Redskins have tied it here. The extra point to come can put him in the driver's seat. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And that one puts them on top here in the third. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. This is Morris. <laughs> a big hit. Knocked down sideways. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Play action now. Prescott. Incomplete. Almost intercepted. They haven't picked him off yet. Would have been a great time for the first, but instead it's third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. The Cowboys on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and four. Here's Prescott. And that's caught by Beasley. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Fresh set of downs here. Prescott now. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. 
Okay, on that incompletion, we can make a pivot here because I wanted to give a hat tip to the Cleveland Browns. They lost last week again. That, that's not the news. The news is that they didn't commit a penalty. They're the only team in the NFL not to do that this year. So you're going total silver lining here. I'm looking for something. I like that. I'm it's, looking for something. You have a, you have a big heart. Yeah. A lot of empathy there. <laughs> it's hard to believe, though. When you, when you lay that out, coaches talk all the time, right? No penalties, guys. Show discipline, and we'll be a good football team. They have no penalties and still can't get over the hump and get a win. Yeah, they were in that game against the Jags, just fell a little bit short. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. On third down, it's Prescott. He's going to look deep down the field. He dropped it. Couldn't hang on in the end zone. So no six points incomplete. I'm not quite sure how he wasn't able to hold on to that one in the end zone. A great opportunity lost, but a lot of relief for the defensive guys. When they get into film next week, they're going to want to know what happened. Where was the breakdown that almost allowed a touchdown? Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. That'll be out of bounds and how good was that? They'll say the three yard line. That's where they spot it. Come the Redskins now. now. They were good last time out with a touchdown drive. This go around, it's not going to be very easy starting from inside their own five. But they shouldn't be daunted by it. You work on this the entire offseason. You work on it in practice. It's called coming out session. Start the ball inside the five, start on the five on the ten. They should be ready to go. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. It's P. Ryan to begin the drive. He'll try to get forward, but he's going to be stopped in his tracks at about the three. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Really shouldn't be a surprise. It's going to be hard to move people in this situation. You know they're going to bring the pressure defensively. So I remember playing in these spots, and my coaches always say, don't be afraid to try and create a safety, too. They're going to bring pressure. And he'll give it here to his running back. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. The Redskins on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and five. Working out of the gun, Cousins. It's brought in by Dodson. They get nine yards there, and they get a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground.
From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Well, hey, let's shift gears for a second. Did you see Dre Kirkpatrick's 100-yard interception return not for a touchdown last week? It doesn't make sense, does it? I mean, it's a 100-yard field. How does he get 100 yards <laughs> and not score? What happened? Picked it off in the end zone, couldn't take it all the way back to the other end zone. By the way, that 100-yard interception without it being a touchdown, longest in NFL history to not score. But, but they did eventually score. Right? They did. He Didn't he fumble somewhere along the way? Yeah. Picked up his own fumble, gets to about the one. <laughs> they end up scoring. It happened in Denver. So I'm just going to tell you. Oh, I know where you're going. The altitude. Well, the altitude, the altitude got, got, to got him. him. <laughs> oh, poor Dre Kirkpatrick. Great return, though. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. But that certainly felt like an example of a defense just saying, okay, <laughs> we've had enough. We've gotten mashed all night long. About time we got a good play in. But flip it over to the offensive side. They've got to be really upset that they allowed a play like that to happen. They were pitching such a great game. They want to keep it going. The Redskins on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This is going to be third and 13. On the ground, it's Thompson. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Here's Tressway now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drop. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. as they run left side. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage, and that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. And some options here for the offense on second and two. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. And we've got a dandy here. A one-point game as we begin the fourth. So this brings up a second and two. Going to give this time to the tailback. Space to maneuver at the 40. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And 
a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They'll run it now out of the gun. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Well, he had two sacks earlier. Now he has four total tackles for a loss after that play. Well, they obviously have to do a better job trying to block him. But <laughs> short of that, you know what the quarterback has to do? Make sure he doesn't hand it to him when he's back there thinking he's one of his own guys. His quickness, his suddenness, his speed getting into the offense's backfield has been something else in this game. A second down throw for Prescott. He can't avoid the pressure. Redskins get there. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Prescott to throw it. Right side complete to Butler. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short. And it'll be fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Desperation time. Prescott on fours. And that is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, that, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here. Fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Now a handoff working right. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. Second down and a little ways to go here. Second and 13. From the gun, here's Cousins. And incomplete there, a nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That would have been a great catch, but it was real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. The Redskins on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. This is gonna be third and 13. Cousins to Pirine on the draw. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. How about the fellas with the stars on the side of their helmets rising up on defense? We always hear about the Cowboys rushing offense. Their rush defense is pretty good as well, I think, because they're so cohesive. Defensive line linebackers really work well together. Here's Tressway now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. Oh, 
He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And now here come the Cowboys. And this offense last time turned it over. Went for it on fourth. Didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board. But we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series. And because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good. But when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. On first and ten, Prescott. And the Redskins do get to him. He goes down for a sack. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. And the offense behind the chains here, a touch on second and 11. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The man with over 1,000 catches, Jason Witten, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. So many qualities coaches tick off when they talk about, hey, what is it going to take to make an excellent quarterback? Accuracy has to rank near the top of every list. Talk about arm strength. That's great. Mobility, great. But you need that accuracy in there. That one well in front of his man. Yeah, now they've got to face a big third down. Prescott from the gun on third. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And avoids the contact by sliding. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. down and 10 now for the offensive group. <laughs> to throw is Prescott. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Zach Brown bringing the pressure again and that is his third sack here tonight. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Prescott now on second down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. He lost two there, and it's third down. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool him, right? Tried to trick him, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Really in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. Here's Prescott. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Needed 16, they got 17 on third down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Down throw for Prescott. And an alley to run. 
one. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. Give him seven on the play, and it's a second down. have a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. That's going to set him back five yards. Inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. intended receiver and it's third down they always say that real estate is about location well guess what when it's a slant route the quick ones timing 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 can't be able to lead your man with the football and the timing off right there threw it behind him oh, long drive the defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field now flags fly in and one of the cowboys looked like he got going a little early offense so this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Prescott yet again. He can't avoid the pressure. Redskins get there. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. So out now come the Redskins. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front 
you know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. And now here's a carry heading left. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. But Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, this is by Bima Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Cousins now on second down. He'll drop it off to P. Ryan, complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Call it a gain of five. And that's going to bring up a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Cousins to throw it. And some room to maneuver. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Getting late here in the fourth, and if this team has any chance to win this football game, their defense obviously needs a stop here. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to be brought down at about the 33-yard line. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Second down following the run. Now a handoff here to his running back. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Throwing here, Cousins. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field.
And a long way to go for the offense here on second down. A handoff as they run the counter play. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Really in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Encroachment, defense. So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. And to give this time to the tailback. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. And there's a nice stop for the defense. They've had a tough time containing this guy all game long, but maybe they can build a little bit off of that play, a little bit of confidence, a little bit of momentum. Yeah. Every now and then, you can actually tackle that guy. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So they get the three here, but you wonder whether that's going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, you've now made it so they need a touchdown rather than a field goal to catch them. But you're right. If they'd gotten six out of that drive, this would be a much different game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Bashan Breland. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. 
that's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill, trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. at Washington as they come onto the field. They have the lead, still a one possession game, but the defense got the stop. They've got the football now, just salted away, right? Exactly. That's all the defense is counting on from their offense. They did their job in a big way. You know they're over on the sidelines now starting to take their tape off and, hey, we've done this thing. The offense has to put it away, and that means ball security. Absolutely. Stranger things have happened. The Redskins, they can smell victory now. They take a knee. is going to take this one down to a knee and end it. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from AT&T Stadium.